last verse, I got it right. Who went took an in for Larry? A folder's microphone. Buddy, it's hard up there. It's hard up there, buddy. Jim, are you hot? Is it hot up there to you? No, my nose is cold. My nose is cold. <laughs> All right. We're going to read to you some of our emails. These are people that watch us on the Internet or on TV, and they comment. I get emails from our regular watchers, and they're usually complimentary. And I get YouTube comments. People see us on YouTube. And they don't understand what I'm saying because they see one message and they think that's everything you believe about this given subject. And of course, that's not true. Uh, Balin Fan Fan writes to us. He gets excited and he puts about 10 exclamation points after every statement. Jim Brown, you are right. Exclamation point, exclamation, 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 ten times. Everything is ordained, exclamation point, ten times. But everything is ordained to work for our good, Romans 8 and 28. God bless you, Jim Brown, exclamation point about 15 times. <laughs> you are a blessed man because you receive predestination, exclamation point, about ten times. You got people in the seminary that can't receive predestination. The only thing is the King James Version is the inspired Word of God. No, it's not. The Textus Receptus is the inspired Word of God. That's the original Greek text. I have a concordance, and the King James Version is the properly translated. No, Balaam, it's not. A lot of things in the King James were translated wrong from the Greek text. You need, a, need an interlinear Bible. It has the Greek on the top line, and right under it, it has the English. And a lot of times, I don't even trust the English in the interlinear Bible. I have to look at the Greek word and then find out what it is. I only stick with the King James Version. You not have to keep going to Greek and Hebrew. Yes, you do with the Bible because the men that translated King James were 46 scholars, and half of them were Roman Catholic, and there were a lot of compromise. I believe around there, and you have 5,400 manuscripts backing up the King James Bible. All 5,400 are not exactly the same. And I'm not going to read any more. Balin Fan Fan in New Jersey. We love you, Balin, but you need to listen to my, my tapes on the King James on the where are you going okay we love you Balin but keep watching and then Jennifer Morgan and Anthony Maddox in Ohio hello guys we're looking to come and visit the church the end of this month August 31st through September the 2nd we're really looking forward to coming down and fellowshipping with you guys thank you Jennifer Morgan, Anthony Maddox in Ohio. And then these are some PayPal comments. These are people that send their PayPal money as offerings. Uh, Whale Ball in Amarillo, Texas. Greetings, Pastor Jim and Mary and all at Grace and Truth. Much agape to you all. I thank the Lord God for all he is doing for the chosen church. Thank you for everything you do for the flock, Pastor Jim. Love from Whale. We love you, Whale, and your mom. Martin Carter in Florida. 
Thank you, Pastor Brown, for your teaching and God's word of truth. Your videos continue to strengthen my spiritual growth and understanding the truth. We love you, Martin. You keep watching. Blake Bailey in Georgia. Hello, family. I hope you all are doing well and conforming through the fire. Personally, I feel like a backslidden lost sheep right now. Old behaviors are trying to take over. Well, that's everybody's life. That's a believer. And my studies has declined. Everybody does that. You study a while, you go up and down and up. And everybody do that? Sure you do. I do that. If I do that, I know you do that. Please pray for me. Agape Blake Bailey. We love you, Blake. You're doing what everybody does, up and down and up and down. Judy Moyers in Mississippi. Thank you so much. That was her comment. Donna Cook in Nebraska. Hi, Jim. Please use this offering for anything that is needed. Thank you for your ministry. Love, Donna Cook. Derek and Stephanie Cooper in Oklahoma. Agape and Phileo family. Thank you, Derek and Stephanie. They met through this ministry and then got married. Uh, Mike Brooke, no address given. Thank you, Jim Brown, for truth. I've been watching your videos for five years. I believe and agree with you because I verify everything you say. Please continue. Agape and Phileo. Mike, we love you, Mike. Corey and Nichelle and the boys, McGee in California. Uh, Nichelle is in the Navy. She was stationed down in New Orleans, and she drove up here one day just to be with us for about 12 hours, and then she turned around and drove right back. She said, I have to meet you. Then she was stationed in Hawaii and been writing to us ever since and uh, then now they've been stationed back in San Diego. Pastor Brown, thank you, and the Grace and Truth Ministry family for sharing and spreading God's Word all over the world. Agape, Corey, Nichelle in San Diego. We love you, Nichelle and the boys and Corey. Robin Peters, this is Wells mother, the first one I read. Uh, greetings, Pastor Jim and Mary. Much agape to y'all. I thank you, Pastor Jim, for everything you do. For the flock and for the Lord God, we learn so much by your teaching. Thank you again. Agape, Robin and Whale. Then I get to some of my YouTube comments. These are people who see us on the YouTube, and most of them are not particularly fans. They like to give me a hard time. See one tape, and uh, hey Cheryl, I see you back there. <laughs> she slipped in there. We love you, Cheryl. Uh, Dave Johnson. Uh, the seventy weeks of Daniel begin with the commandment to restore and build Jerusalem. That's not something I said. That's something the Bible says from from the. Going forth the commandment to restore and build Jerusalem. Unto Messiah the prince, prince shall be seven weeks, three score and two weeks. Those are weeks of years. And he comments, you're teaching papal teaching. That's Daniel 9.25 that I just quoted to you. It is not complicated. Yes, it is. Your Jesuit futurism I'm not a Jesuit. I don't like the Jesuits. They were the enforcers of the Inquisition, killing people. Your Jesuit futurism is the issue. There's absolutely no justification for stretching the 70 weeks through millennia. Yes, there is. You are ignorant, Dave. Were you Jesuit trained? <laughs> You are so, maybe you're just stupid. Or do you believe papal counter-reformation doctrine out of ignorance? 
No, you're the one that's ignorant. I've spent, I started studying the 70 weeks of Daniel in 1964. Been researching it that long. I'm not going to wish you well. I'm just going to ignore you and go to the next thing. I hope in God writes concerning doctrine of devils, Billy Graham, Arnold Murray, and other false teachers depart from faith. Who are you to judge? We're not to look at the outward appearance, but we are to judge righteous judgment. That's declaring God's judgment. When the Bible says judge not, when a sentence, this is eighth grade English, when a sentence starts with a verb showing action, judge not that you be not judged. When it starts with a verb, there's always an understood subject. You judge not. Judge is the word crino, means to decide guilt or innocent. So what it's saying is don't you decide guilt or innocence. And when you say judge not, you're letting everybody off the hook and you're judging the guilty innocent. If, if you were a blessed ministry, your room would be filled. You're nuts. Strive to, the Bible says, straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to eternal life and few there be that find it. Jesus told the apostles, fear not little flock. It's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. If you're friends with the world and you run with the world, you're an enemy of God. You really don't know nothing about the Bible. Artifact hunter. They, on things we believe and do not believe. Errors in the King James Bible. Little words. I love this truth so, so much. I always knew God would lead me to the truth. Sure is a difference between that and the previous, isn't it? Um... Uh, Jew B, why we do not believe in demons. We are commanded to heal the sick, raise the dead. When's the last time you raised the dead? Huh? When's the last time you walked on water? Cleanse the leper, cast out demons. This is a part of our identity. Demons, there's no such thing as demons. You are the demon. That's what Jesus said in Mark, the first chapter. The identity of the believer of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Here's a news flash. Christians can have demons. No, they can't. They are the demon. <laughs> People are ignorant, just don't know nothing. Watch my whole series, Doctrines of Devils, and then you write me and tell me that. It's about two and a half years of messages. Uh... Donna writes on the doctrine of the devil is the exact opposite of the doctrine of Christ. I think God does reveal the truth to people in hell. No, he doesn't reveal the truth in hell. If he revealed the truth in hell, the Holy Spirit's the truth, then the Holy Spirit would be in hell. I believe people will feel through eternity that God is being unfair to them in hell. He is just so, it is just to reveal why they're there. No, it's just to reveal, not to reveal it to them. And about Jesus and salvation, they reject it. If you tell them why they're there, they might want to accept Christ, huh? <laughs> the rich man in hell begged to send Lazarus to warn his family about hell, but he didn't want to get out of it. So the rich man knew the truth there. I believe at death they all know who God truly is. I don't believe that. I'm going to leave that guy alone. I'll read a couple more of these. Uh, James French commented on Passover, his relationship, its relationship to Pentecost, the 50 days between the purpose of Jesus' death. He writes, to be honest, I'm not convinced you are correct on some things because you're not provided evidence. I believe I've provided more evidence on what I teach than anybody else. But you're very quick to make out like everything you say 
is 100% accurate. Now, that's really funny, isn't it? I'm going to preach something this morning, and I don't believe it's accurate. You think I'm going to do that? Why would I preach something if I didn't believe it was accurate? We're all learning, and we're all searching for the truth. Evidently, you're not searching very hard. No disrespect, yes, it is, intended as you've helped me a lot. But sometimes you come off like you already know the truth. I believe what I'm teaching is true. I don't teach on everything in the Bible. The things that I am, that I am not real sure about, I leave alone. I don't know what other people say to you, but the way you just spoke makes it sound like anyone who has thoughts on the truth are flat wrong if they're opposed to your views. That's crazy, isn't it? If, if they're opposed to you, well, no, I'm going to believe your views and not believe mine, okay? That's what they're saying. Uh, Gas, Gas Pipe 916 commented on History of Israel. Benjamin loves to fight. Abner kills Asahel. Why Benjamin is numbered with Judah. You are the best Bible teacher I've ever heard. I weep because we will lose you eventually, or well, probably, and you know how hard it is to find a truthful teacher. 35 years in, first time. I trust a teacher, 35 years. Thank you very much. That's very encouraging. I got a whole bunch of other, others here that I just don't have time to read. Uh, let me give you the announcements. We are... We are on TV in about 300 towns and cities from San Francisco, Los Angeles to New York City, Kansas, all over Kansas, Tulsa, Oklahoma City. You know, that's the biggest cities in Oklahoma. And Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Beaumont, San Antonio, Austin, whole bunch of towns in southern Louisiana, uh, Des Moines, Iowa, uh, Roanoke, Virginia, just all over the country. And uh, you can watch us if you're in a town where we're on. And if you, if you don't have us on, on TV, we're on the Internet 24 hours a day all over the world. That's why we get letters and comments from worldwide. So uh, <clears throat> watch us on the Internet. Grace and truth.net that's grace and a n d not the and sign but and truth.net grace and truth came by jesus christ in john the first chapter now uh we support our needy people people write to me and give me a hard time and they don't know that we support the needy. We got a bunch of needy. We give away about two thousand dollars a month to the needy. That's people, that's little old ladies that they're retired or they're on SSI, like Amanda out in Murfreesboro. She's a dear lady. We send money every month. If you want to help these needy people, you uh, send a check, make it to Grace and Truth, and put needy on the bottom of it, and every bit of that will go to these people. We have our, pic our chili cookout coming up. It'll be here before you know it. It's not that far away, just a couple of months away, October the 5th. Huh? Hope it snows then. You hope it snows before then. I hope it rains here real soon. It is hot out there. They're setting records all over the world. And people say the earth is not getting hotter. It is. The Bible says it will get hotter in the 16th chapter of Revelation. And men will curse God for the heat. And this is not a Democrat, Republican thing. Uh, but... 
Come and join us October the 5th all day long down here at uh, Rockland Recreation Center. If you don't know how to get to Rockland Recreation Center, the police department is across the street. Just go to the police department. They'll point you to a road and say, it's that road right there. Go down that road and back to the left. All right. We I'm glad to have Elizabeth. Come hello, right here. You're from Franklin? You've been calling us a while, haven't you? No, no, I've been coming to the services. I can't hear you. I've been coming to the services for a while now. Oh, okay. She's been coming a while. We're glad she's here. Uh, the restrooms are back here. You got water back there. You got a little water fountain back there. Uh, Cheryl, where where are you from? I'm in Jamestown, Tennessee now. You're on what? I'm in Jamestown, Tennessee. Where is that? Yeah, east of is that north? About two hours east of here. About two hours. We're glad you're here. I'm glad to be here, sir. Okay. <laughs> She's gone through some adventures in her life, haven't you? I have. I have. <laughs> Oh. I live on Narrow Road is where I live. <laughs> what did she say? She lives on Narrow Road. Okay, Narrow Road. Okay, good. <laughs> we all do. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. And uh, as we pray, Mike, will you, you pray for us, please?
Jim, I'm a big man. You what? I'm going to be married. Foul. F O W L. <laughs> Foul. <laughs> Foul. Well, I'm trying to think of vowel or something, I guess. V O W E L. Believe it or not, I do that a lot. Thank you. I need somebody correcting me. If somebody don't correct me, I make. I correct myself when I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching me on the TV. I'll be sitting there going, no, 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 don't say that. <laughs> I do that. I just grab, sometimes I told somebody the other day, I'm, well, I'm 78 years old. And Mary said, what? I said, well, I guess I'm 80, Anna. She said, yeah. I don't know why I'll just switch things around like that. Maybe that's short-term memory loss. I forget how old I am. I'm going to fly on the wall when you're sitting in your room. Oh, I, I, I'm watching me going, no. Why did I say that? I just do that. I, I, I'm putting out so much information. Sometimes I'm thinking about something that I'm going to say, and I say it beforehand, and I say Galatians instead of Genesis. I say, well, they both start with a G. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's just that I do that. When you're putting out this much of information, you're going to say stuff that you don't mean to say. And you'll know that when you watch yourself on a screen. I get to hollering at me sometimes. And sometimes I say, I need to apologize to everybody for saying that. And then I forget to apologize and call it to your attention. 